Hmm. I'm gonna um do this song that I used to do. My mom taught me. How you said songs my mama taught me? <laughs> um M is for the million things she gave me. O is for the older she will be. T is for the tears she shed to save me. Um, <laughs> H is for her heart, the purest gold. E is for her eyes of love light shining. R is for the right she'll always be. Put them all together, they spell mother. The word that means the world to me. I had to put a little flavor on the end of it. Hey! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Teach that song to your children, honey. Teach it to your children. I'll give you the one for daddy um, uh, next time. <laughs> Today is my mama's born day, and I um, still have my mother. Although she um, has good days and she has extremely bad days like the rest of us. Um, but when you're dealing with, um, you know, dementia, um, then, you know, you those things are expected. Um, I just want to, without getting overly emotional, uh, I just can't believe that my mom is like 86 years old today. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And um, I thank her for all the sacrifices that she's made because Steel actually does start sharpen steel. And the standards that my mother set, my parents, because I come from a two-parent home, and I want to always acknowledge that, uh, two parents that were committed to their children, no matter how weird, <laughs> religious, and all those things, I rather had it um, and not need it than the needed and not have it. So I thank them for their strictness. I thank them, especially moms, because it's her day. <laughs> she was something else, but I just want to pay homage to her today. Today is her day, and um, I've got a nice day planned for her. <sighs> and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so now that I got that out the way, and I didn't get too emotional, this is really a shame. This is for all you brothers and sisters and anybody else out there, especially black people, because I'm saying this to y'all more specifically because we are so, I understand the wealth gap between us and white folks is so vast that we just looking for a come up and usually we'll do anything. For that come up. And a lot of people don't. The people that don't understand it. Claim that they don't understand it. Is because they, they, they're not in this situation. So. Um, when I read articles like this. And I, I'm not making any excuses. So all of y'all who have used those PPP loans. To um, get yourselves out of situations. Or thought it was free money. They going to come back and collect. And this is one of the worst case scenarios. Is to get a PPP loan and not even use it for what, you, what you're supposed to. So this is a loving hip hop star named Mo Fame. And they're behind bars right now. Ooh, Lord, Lordy, Lord. After using um 
uh, 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 PPP loan. Now, I want y'all to listen to me real good now, okay? He then took the PPP loan so he can false flag and let everybody think he rolling like that the, to, to, to feel important because we missing love and attention. So we think that we can find it in the things, the jewelry, and all this kind of stuff that the trinkets. And don't get me wrong. I know that we are very NRNA people. Okay, so I'm not saying it. The, the desire. There's nothing wrong with the desire to put on the jewelry and stuff that our people are so recognized and so um, uh, uh, used to and accustomed for thousands and thousands of years of wearing it. We we used to wearing diamonds and gold around our necks and our, on our fingers and in our ears and up our arms. That's not the problem. That's who we are. And that's who we were. Before we were indoctrinated. But when you take the means to do this. And you don't have no way of paying it back. And you use it to buy $85,000 worth of jewelry. And $136,000 Rolls Royce. And $40,000 in past due child support. You know what honey. I, there's no excuse. I don't know what kind to. Uh, what kind of. Um excuse that anybody can make for you. Mo Fay, 38, has been sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison and must pay back $4,465,865.55 in restitution for his role in a federal bank fraud. He pleaded guilty to six counts, including bank and wire fraud, after a funding and expensive lifestyle during the pandemic with the money from the PPP, he submitted a fraud 3.7 million PPP loan application falsely claiming his trucking business had 107 employees and a monthly payroll of $1,490,000. Okay? Fane used the money to buy $85,000 worth of jewelry, $136,000 Rolls Royce, as I said before, and then he paid $40,000 in past due child support and $90,000 to start a new business. Damn. And for that, now you're going to spend 17 years in jail away from your family away from your friends and the people who love you uh, and the people that you love. And you definitely, I don't know how they're going to, uh, Mona Scott, you know, <laughs> her ratings are still there, huh? Because she's still here on TV. But she's got, she's, she's got 50,000 jobs, man, and, and, and taking advantage of y'all lust for attention. I mean, what made him think that he could even get away with something like this? Uh, you, know, you you submitted a fraud 3.7 million PPP loan application. Flame trucking. You got no employees. And you don't have a trucking business. And you thought you was going to be able to get away from that. The government just let that money circulate so the economy wouldn't collapse. Everybody know it. But they're going to come back with vengeance for y'all to pay back this money. So those of y'all who are ridiculous enough to um, uh, uh, take that, then I just hope that you used it for what you said you was. Because I don't want to see nobody go away. Uh, especially when they don't do a crime that uh, hurts anybody that kills anybody, to go away for 17 years, it's a long time. So, you know, but again, the liar will steal and a thief will murder. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all know anybody got some of these PPP loans? And um, have y'all got one? Is y'all on the run? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. 
if you like what you hear. And it's sad because there are all these pictures of this guy flossing and sitting there over these with all this stuff on. He's here's a picture with Carly Carly Red. Um, he was he was uh Carly Reed's I mean Carly Red's fiance. I don't watch these shows. Oh God! Wow! All this for attention. Mm -mm. And we don't have no money. So, you know. Okay. Like I said, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. If you can do it, do it. I can't I can't stand it. So with that being said, y'all leave y'all comments below. Let me think what let me know what y'all think about this. This is truly a travesty to me. All right.